Hey, dear saints, let's talk about authority. Authority is the theme for the third Sunday in Lent. Who are the authorities over you? Think about the fourth commandment. Who has God placed in authority over you? Father, mother, pastor, teacher, police, we know who all of those authorities are. But who is the ultimate authority? Now, you and I both know the answer is Jesus in all things, and yet our old sinful nature will want to argue with that every time. I want to be the authority. I want to be in control. And every time that happens, we place ourselves against the authority of God. And the authority of God is not for our damnation, but to save us. In the first reading in Jeremiah, Jeremiah is sent to God's people to preach the law. And he is given the authority from God to do that. He is given that authority to preach the law to them so that God will not have to come down there, will not have to do what he does not want to do, which is destroy them. So Jeremiah goes and he preaches the law. And those who think they have authority, those who think they have control, they rebel, they push back against Jeremiah, and they say that that man certainly deserves to die. You see, when our authority, our perceived authority and control is challenged, we push back. We want to win. At the end of that reading, God says this, Now, therefore, mend your ways and your deeds and obey the voice of the Lord your God, and the Lord will relent. You see, when we let God be God and we let him be the ultimate authority, he will forgive our sins by sending us Jesus. In the second reading, Paul shows us exactly what happens when our authority is running away with us. Sexual immorality, sixth commandment. Filthiness, foolish talk, crude joking, sixth and eighth commandment, covetousness, ninth and tenth commandment, and we continue to want control, and that continues to push back against the first commandment, leaving only for us death and destruction. But the gospel reading is so great. The gospel reading is Jesus, and he is there, and he is having his authority challenged. He is casting out a mute demon out of a man. And they want to challenge Jesus' authority and say, by whose authority do you do this? You must be working from Satan. And Jesus says, but if it is the finger of God that I cast out demons, then the kingdom of God has come to you. There is no denying that Jesus' power is because he is God and his reign has come upon us. His holy and his righteous reign to cast out demons, to silence the wind and the waves, to walk on the water, to raise children and his friend Lazarus from the dead, and ultimately to be our Savior, to go to the cross, to take away all of our sin of trying to be in authority and take control. Our Savior is the one who has authority. He has authority to forgive you. He has authority to die for you. He has authority to rise for you. He has the authority to promise to us that he will continue to be gracious to us and relent from his wrath that should destroy us, but to continue to give us his grace and mercy. You see, this commandment, this group of readings points us again to the cross, to our hope, to our forgiveness, and ultimately to God continuing to be in authority, to rule and to reign, and to bring us home to be with him. Live in your baptism, dear saints. In the name of Jesus, amen. Thanks for watching Higher Things video shorts. Remember to like, subscribe for notifications, and donate to support Higher Things at higherthings.org slash giving. If you like this video, check out our website, higherthings.org, and check out more content from Higher Things.